What's good, y'all? Welcome back. So, I just saw on YouTube a new Dragon Ball superhero official trailer. All right. I'm going to be real with y'all. <laughs> I am not stoked to see this movie. All right. I heard a lot of bad things about it. Rarely did I hear any good things about this because majority of the commentary I heard about this movie was that it was pretty much all CGI. All right. I, when it comes to Dragon Ball, because Dragon Ball Z is true to my heart. That's like the very first anime besides Naruto. Very first anime I ever watched in my life as a kid. Four or five years old, came on Toonami, watched it like every night, Saturday, Sunday, you know, you know the vibes. But I grew up with that 2D, that art, like that that classic look. And you know, when it uh, moved on into, you know, Dragon Ball GT, still kept that same look. And then into Super, and then they upgraded it with the look, and it came out with the different movies and such. It's like, I, I was cool with that, right? And then now they're trying to get more into CGI. And now, don't get me wrong, they did introduce a CGI for Dragon Ball a little bit within the Broly movie. Uh, also in Resurrection of Frieza, I believe. Uh, those are only two I can recall at the moment. But yeah, majority in the Broly movie when I noticed they did CGI a lot, especially with the... Uh, Gogeta Blue fight with uh, Broly like the near the end of the movie that was a dope fight but I was cool to CGI but just like the fact that they create a whole movie using just pretty much all CGI and no hand drawn animation like it, it's like a huge turn off for me bro I'm not gonna lie to you but I got the official trailer right here I'm gonna check it out <sighs> <laughs> Let's see what's happening. All right. My boy Gohan. Hey, see, they better do him justice. If there is anything that will captivate me and make me want to watch this is that they do ju Gohan justice because they've been just crapping on Gohan ever since, shoot, ever since uh, the end of the cell. Well, actually, no, 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 no. Because in the Majin Buu arc, they did do him justice with the ultimate Gohan form. Okay, I, I fuck with that. But after that... Like, they just been trashing him, all right? The Tournament of Power, trashing him, and all the other arcs before that, trashing him. So, they need to, like, shoot, give him a new form or something. Like, give him the respect that he deserves, okay? This is Gohan. He is the GOAT. My favorite Gohan, personally, was Teen Gohan. Super Saiyan 2, that will forever be my favorite Gohan. I don't care if he gets Super Saiyan Blue, Super Saiyan Green, whatever, Super Saiyan 2 Gohan is by far my favorite Gohan. Moving on. Damn. You got knocked the fuck up. Okay, Gohan, turn up. That's it. Okay. All right, we're going to run that back. Run that back. I'm going to break this down. Yeah, it's not really doing anything for me besides seeing Gohan turn up. Like, I don't even know who the big bad is. And the enemies that they're going up against don't really intrigue me, to be real with you. Uh... Man, honestly, it says this movie's supposed to come out. When is it coming out? 
Summer. Shoot, it might be one of those movies I just like watch bootleg. You know, don't even go to the theater for it. Like, I'm not gonna waste my money like that. Cause first off, I don't like it to begin with with the CGI. It's no hand drawn animation. I might have seen maybe. I don't know. I might be fooling myself to be real, thinking that there is some hand drawn, but they probably use the CGI so well that it looks hand drawn. But hey, uh, if anything, I'll just go watch this uh, to see Gohan turn up and see him get the respect that he deserves. Um, I heard, I seen screenshots here and there that Broly was going to be in it. I don't know why. Uh, I heard from different people that Piccolo was going to get a new form. I could care less if Piccolo gets a new form. I mean, like, ever since he got, he fused with Nail from Planet Namek and fused with uh, Kami and um, the Cell Saga, like, what else is there for him? I don't really know. He's really not my favorite character in all Dragon Ball anyway. Like, it's between Goku and um, Gohan being my favorite characters. I know it sounds cliche, but that's the truth. Uh, no, Trunk. You gotta throw Trunks in there. Trunks is badass. I'm not. Yeah, straight up. Uh. Yeah, this movie, it looks all right. It looks all right. So, more than likely, I'm not going to watch this in a the theater. I'm just going to wait till it comes out on bootleg or something on one of my sites. <laughs> uh, and just, just watch it from there. So, hey, let me know what y'all thought about it uh, and where do you think the series is going. And um, if you are any excited for what's to come because I know I heard that in the manga I, I'm not that caught up in the manga I'm not that caught up in the manga but I'm like uh, I'm like three or four chapters behind but it's pretty fire it's pretty fire because after the tournament power you know you had the Broly thing uh, I feel like they should have fleshed that out a little bit more but they didn't I mean it's cool uh, yeah, so you have the Broly movie, and then you got these different arcs. Uh, I won't say too much about it, but it introduces us to, like, this sorcerer that is on par of, like, in terms of power level compared to, like, the Kais. And uh, his name is Moro. So he's pretty badass. I'll put a picture, but he is really dope. So I can't wait to see that. Whenever they release uh, whatever season season two for Dragon Ball Super, it's going to be lit. It's going to be crazy. But yeah, let me know what y'all thought about this trailer, guys. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. I will see y'all next time. I'm out.